In the command section of the retopology tab, you'll notice a number of tools here. We have import and export. These two will let you import and export, of course, in OBJ, LWO, FBX, STL, and the PLY formats. The snap tool will allow you to snap the retopologized mesh to an underlying surface if you have changed the underlying surface since you've retopologized it. The subdivide tool will allow you to subdivide the current mesh as such. You can see we've subdivided it now. Uh, we can always clear it with the clear button here. You can also relax the mesh by hitting the relax button. And let's undo those few steps there. And we can also symmetrize this by hitting the symmetry button. For this to work, however, we must turn symmetry on. So if we hit the S key, turn symmetry on across the X axis or any axis you wish to symmetrize across. And you'll see now we have a mesh on the other side. Now if we turn symmetry off, that will no longer be there. But if we turn it back on and hit the symmetry button, we now have actual mesh topology there. It would be best to use this if you actually plan to export out the mesh as well, so keep that in mind. A few other things to note are the radius size up here. That allows you to manually change the brush size for brush sized retopology tools. You can also add an additional extrusion to the mesh. This works great if you plan to create um, clothing or anything like that for a character or any kind of cloth that you plan to drape on something. And Z-Bias will improve visual performance if you happen to have problems with mesh showing up from one side to the other. You can turn up the um, Z-Bias here and that should most of the time fix your issue. Of course we don't have an issue here to demonstrate that with so my apologies there. That should finish up all of your retopology tools and options that you see here in a general form.